Hi guys and today we have the most iconic Germany vehicle with us the Volkswagen Vento 1.6 Highline Automatic Now talking about the front, this is the 2014 model so we get this black outline finish for the headlamp. We get the nice chromium touches in the front grille and as this is the high line you get this chrome touch over here as well as the fog lamp with a chromium outline. are 185 by 60 R15 15 inches and now on to the rear section we get a boot chromium strip in the high lane version and you also get reverse parking sensors this is a crazy accessory it's a boot lip spoiler and the Volkswagen badging this is the reverse camera of the vehicle and now this is a cool feature you get a nice piano black touch over here whereas the door opens from this beading the rear door opens from this beading let me show you so this is how it works now coming to the interiors let's get inside the vehicle one second this is the Vento badging this is an accessory but a cool accessory now this is the mirror adjustment switch left and the right mirror lock and unlock of the door power windows and power locking for the windows this is the storage space for bottle holders this is the boot lid to open the boot this is the height adjustment you can increase the height decrease the height by this button and this is a different feature most of the cars don't get this this is for the reclining and inclining of the seats do this release the seat comes in the front or you can adjust it at the rear nice leather upholstery seat covers and now let me get inside the car let me switch on the ignition for you guys turning the ignition on it's quite smooth so guys this is the cluster unit and you get the fuel indicator over there and that is the service reminder the spanner symbol 11.2 kilometers is the average mileage of the vehicle and 7.32 pm is the time the vehicle has clocked 44,908 that is the total odometer you click this button to change it it's the trip button the overall distance these are the two functions available and you see the P over there that's the drive mode select that is the park oh let me switch it to neutral uh, reverse neutral drive sport 
so this is the triptonic function drive the if you put it towards the left hand side comes the manual mode one two and so on so let me go back to park mode yes this is the handbrake symbol that's the parking light symbol the parking light is currently switched on this is the aftermarket pioneer system you get dual zone climate control and the automatic six speed gearbox these are the steering mounted features this is to increase the volume decrease the volume switch tracks answer a call decline a call connect to a source german vehicles have this habit of placing the wiper washers at the right side and the headlights high beam passes and indicators on the left side this is for the fog lamp this is switched off parking light low beam pull this once comes the fog lamp pull this twice comes the rear fog lamp this is the headlight levelers so yeah that this is the button to run through the cluster this is the current temperature outside 1 hour 19 minutes is the time taken from when the vehicle was started this is the kilometer per liter the driving conditions this is the range of the fuel 15 km per hour is the average speed traveling this is the digital speedometer the temperature that is it and now we get this cool aluminum treatment i mean it's not aluminum it's a chrome sort of treatment over this unit and over here to you get it all over the ac vents placed on this car this nets are aftermarket also talking about the steering you get the chrome finish right over here too and a sporty three spoke steering wheel with vw badging over here this is stitched with leather there's a pole tree over here the horn of the vehicle yeah feels very premium this is the height adjustment lever for the steering you unlock this and you can adjust the height now talking about the storage areas you get two cup holders right over here so this bin yeah this is the charging socket that's a small storage space over here you get a center armrest this is shared by the pillion as well as the driver let me open it for you yes this is adjustable or else removable handbrake of the vehicle This is the glove box. Yes, quite large. This button is for the rear defogger of the vehicle. Lights over here. Two switch placements, and this is for the center light. Yes, let me switch it off. As usual for the safety feature, we get the airbag on the steering, and one on the dash. So that comes to two airbags in this vehicle. Let's get into the rear of the vehicle. This is the rear seat placement. The door pockets are quite large for holding a bottle at least. The first thing you notice is the under tie support is quite less. It's not the best. It's quite less. It isn't comfortable at the rear for me. I don't know why. This is a cup holder or a bottle holder basically. Rear AC vents which are adjustable by sides. This is the rear armrest. The rear armrest of the vehicle. you get twin headrest which are adjustable and you also get two speakers let me show you you see there one speaker over here and one speaker over there in the car these are two speakers and 
four speakers on the doors. We get a large hump over here, so it is difficult to place the third person in the rear seat of the Vento. Let us open the boot of the vehicle using this button. Yeah, the boot is now open. The boot is actually 454 liters of storage capacity. This is an aftermarket subwoofer. It's quite decent in size. The boot. Let me close it. And now this is the key of the vehicle. It is a flip key. Now let me show you a very cool feature of almost all the Volkswagens in market. I'm going to press the unlock button for a few seconds. Now let's see the result. That is cool, right? All four windows of the door is now open. Now I'm going to automatically close it again by using the lock button. That is one of the best cool tricks in the Volkswagen cars. Now we can also open the boot of the vehicle using the same key. Let me show you that. There it is. Now guys, we are in the Volkswagen Vento 2014 Highline Automatic. This is going to be the drive test of the vehicle. So currently it's in park mode, changing the gear to drive. And yes, off we go. The transmissions are quite quick. There isn't much amount of jerk in the transmission. The engine is smooth. There is no sound even at the mid-range of this engine. The engine is so silent. As it is always, petrols are silent, but this vehicle is even more silent. Currently, we are cruising at 60 kilometers an hour. The suspension setup is good. It's quite on the softer side. Steering is good. Feels light and sporty. You see this three-spoke steering wheel is nice and sporty. The horn of the vehicle. <laughs> The horn is quite good. Talking about the ride quality, the suspension setup and all, it's quite stiff. Look at this bump I'm taking. It's quite stiff. We're taking the speed breaker. Let us check the suspension. The ground clearance of this vehicle is quite low. So you have to take certain big speed breakers in a slanting way only. Talking about the engine, this is a 1.6 litre petrol engine which is made it to a 6 speed automatic gearbox which produces 103 bhp of power and 153 nm of torque. So now guys, we are in the Volkswagen Vento for the acceleration test. So now let's put the gear in the sport mode. Yeah, the gear is in the sport mode now. Let's start. Please focus on the odometer. And we go. Yeah, the power is good, the torque is good, but it gives a certain slack in the low end. Now guys, this is the Triptronic function test. So this is in the drive mode currently. Push it towards the left side and you see the symbol plus and minus. Plus is for upshifting and minus is for downshifting. Now let's start driving. You see the gear indicator right over here. It's in one. The gear doesn't change. I upshift it. Changes to second gear. Again I upshift, third gear. Upshift 4 and I can also downshift again, it goes to 3rd gear and pulls. 